spoken English is not the same as written or textbook English. And this is a fact that few students understand this. They simply do not realize that the English that they learn in schools is not the English that the native speakers use, usually in the normal conversations. To be honest, I have no idea why schools neglect real spoken English. Why do they teach only formal English? Why don't, don't they prepare their students for the real world English? I mean, what's wrong with our present teaching method that prevents students from easily and fluently communicating with native speakers? And why do native speakers not easily understand our modern students and vice versa? And why do schools seemingly focus more on the uh, fluency among the English students? I mean, why can't students use the English in and out of class equally well? In fact, English is not their native language. We all know this. Once again, those questions have been bothering me until today. You know, like real spoken English is defined as the true, casual, everyday spoken English used by the native speakers in the UK, in America and other English speaking countries. Like idioms and slangs are often used in every conversations. In real conversations, they rarely find full, formal, complete sentences. Why I say rarely? Because native speakers almost never use complete sentences. They speak in partial sentences. They interrupt each other, you know, like chain thoughts in the middle of the sentence, or they use filler words uh, constantly, I can say. And real spoken pronunciation is also quite different than what students learn from the schools and textbooks. In a normal conversation, native speakers tend to, you know, like mash words together. In school, students learn a few standard, you know, standard contractions, but in fact, they create a huge number of non-standard contractions all the time. And further, native speakers tend to connect some words together and cut other words shorter, I can say. So when they combine all of these differences, they get conversations that sound totally different than what students learn from school and books. By real English conversations, it means that English is actually spoken by average native speakers in their day-to-day lives. By these definitions, for example, this CNN and the BBC are not real English conversations. If people think that those two TV stations are the good sources to learn to speak real English, but in fact, you know, like, the, listen, the, the announcer are just reading from the tele, teleprompter is not a conversation at all. I mean, there is nothing wrong with CNN or the BBC, but that style of English is not the style that used in the homes, in offices, or on the, on the street every day. You know, like, an announcers, for example, are very careful to speak in the complete sentences. They try to avoid almost, you know, more slang. They try to speak very clearly and to avoid using filler words. As stated in the previous discussion, you might remember that real, real people they are constantly speak in the sentence fragments, I can say. Constantly interrupt each other, constantly use idiom, slang, constantly smash words together into, into strange contractions, constantly speak quickly and constantly use filler words. That's why so many students have trouble when they visit the United States, Canada, Australia and the UK. Because the English that they learn, they hear on the street, you know, is nothing like the English they learned in school. And nothing like the English they uh, heard on the news shows. Because the, the casual conversation is the first kind of English that small children learn. The children, I said it many times, first learn to chat with their family and friends. They become totally fluent at real conversation before they learn to speak formally and even before they focus on reading or learn writing. And I can say that there are two, uh, two worlds in English conversation learning. The first is the school world and the other is the real world. Unfortunately, the school world is nothing like the real world. In the school world of English conversation, students study books, 
you know, like full of grammar rules and books full of uh, individual vocabulary words. Students learn such rules as never use, uh, you know, like sentence fragments. I said they avoid run-on sentences. Never being, uh, sorry, never begin a sentence with uh, and and so on and so forth. Yet in the real world, native English speakers do all these things every day. They frequently speak in the fragments. They frequently use uh, long run, run on sentences. They frequently begin sentence with and. They frequently end sentence with uh, prepositions. Here is the ugly truth that the English textbooks are, are written by old clueless academics who have very little uh, and, and little understanding of the real world. And likewise, most teachers are more interested in their own authority and their position rather in helping their students prepare for real English conversation. And so, students spend years in school vainly learning English from textbooks. They just waste years taking tests and memorizing rules that are not really rules at all. See you next time. Bye. Self-study, dil öğrenmesinde yegane yol ve dinleme yolu ise yegane metoddur. Her birinize uğurlar.